friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All of Ab Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today I'm going to do a quick little paint your nails with me video. I'm using Zoya's Wednesday which is such a lovely kind of muted teal, turquoise-ish. Um, I love this polish and I'm really excited to wear it so let's dive in. Usually I start with my Orly nail strengthener, uh, the nail defense nail strengthener. I actually have been testing out a product that we might be releasing later this summer from all of our polish so that's what I have on right now. Uh, so I'm just gonna dive in and get started. Um, I haven't done one of these videos where I talk about Topic Tuesday prompts in a while so I'm gonna do you know, a couple of the April topics, um, but I also just wanted to kind of catch up, see how you're all doing, you know, the world is a crazy place. Um, I think it's been maybe three weeks since I filmed my last one. And when I filmed my last Paint My Nails With Me video, I was kind of coming out of a funk a little bit. I am feeling a lot better. I'm sure you've, you know, just seen more of me, more from me in the last couple of weeks than we did in March. Um, but I am feeling a lot better. I just like, I think that, you know, we are very adaptable creatures and I think even as strange as things feel right now, they've started to feel a little more normal, which is, you know, kind of scary in some ways, um, but definitely reassuring. Uh, things at my job are still a little up in the air. Um, for those of you who know, I work at a, an organization that does teacher training in the summer, um, and we're not doing our teacher training in the summer. <laughs> we'll be doing it virtually. Um, so I'm kind of waiting for some major decisions to get made there that will impact you know, how I spend my time for the next few months, but that's okay. I'm trying to roll with the punches. Uh, I am definitely a planner, so it's <laughs> not easy for me to have things up in the air. So I'm trying to focus on what I can control. Um, I got a little bit of flooding there, so I'm gonna do, do, do. just give it a little bit of a perfect. But otherwise, I'm feeling really good. We have been trying to get out for a walk or a run, or um, we have not really a, a gym, but we have some weights in our basement, so we'll get down and try and do some lifting. Um, so we, we've been trying to keep active, which I think is really helpful. It has definitely helped to, you know, feel more normal and have some kind of routine to our days. Uh, my husband is a teacher and school has now been canceled for the rest of the year, which, you know, I think he's pretty sad about, um, but means that he will definitely be home with me, which is which is really nice. Um, I won't have to worry about him, you know, going out. Um, let me know how things are for you. I hope that you and your family are, you know, safe and healthy as much as you can be. Um, I've started making some masks for those of you who, who don't know. Um, my other hobby is sewing and so I have started making some masks, not necessarily to donate to hospitals, because I, I don't know that they're that effective in hospitals, but just for, you know, my friends and family and neighbors who might need them uh, if they're going out to the grocery store or um, there's an organization in my city that's kind of collecting them for folks who work at, you know, restaurants and things to make sure that they can be safe as well, which I think is great. So, okay, that's one coat. I'm gonna do my thumbs off camera. All right, beautiful, there are my thumbs. Uh, so while I wait for that to dry, I wanna answer a couple of these prompts. Uh, the first one is my one and onlys, and I don't have that many of these. This would be like polishes that I only have one from the brand. Um, and I think because I typically swatch collections, um, I don't have that many one and onlys, but I do have a couple. So one of them is this polish from 786 Cosmetics. It is a really beautiful kind of teal with a strong green shimmer. And this was sent to me to review. Uh, this one's called Karachi. And this was sent to me to review a little while ago with a couple others that I ended up de-stashing because um, they were similar to others in my collection. The formulas are great, so I had no complaints about them. They just were similar to, I think, some Zoyas that I had. Um, and so I just decided to pass them on. But this one is super unique and so beautiful. Um, I remember this one being pretty opaque in one coat. And so I really like this one. And then last year, I want to say in January maybe, I grabbed a bunch of KB shimmers from a D-stash and it was actually my first um, KB shimmer haul. Um, I can link that video up here. It's, it's kind of old, but I'll link it up here. Uh, this one is called Forget About It. <laughs> I love it. Um, it's this really beautiful, like, deep uh, purple fig colored 
uh, linear holographic and I did grab a couple other KB shimmers in that haul and I really had a fun time kind of trying them out and testing them but I ended up only keeping this one because this was the only one that really felt like um, I would wear it um, and I have been trying to de-stash polishes that I will not wear just because otherwise um, my whole house would be filled with them so this is the one that I really love I do think I wore this one last fall uh, and I should remember to wear it again this fall because I really really like it okay and then this one is from paint this one is I don't know how big this brand is. Uh, this polish is called Majestic AF. It's this really pretty, actually like super unique in my collection purple. I know it looks like it wouldn't be that unique, but something about it, I just, I tried to de-stash this one and I couldn't. It was, it was really unique for me. Uh, but I really like this one. The formula is good. Um, I don't love... I don't even think I can get it off. The bottles are kind of weird. They have these caps that come off and then there's like a very small cap inside with the brush. The brush is not super great. The reason I held on to this is because this is the first brand <laughs> that ever sent me PR um, and asked me to swatch their polishes. And so I just, I feel like I have to keep something from them because I really appreciate them for, you know, doing that when I was uh, just starting out. Um, I do like this polish. Uh, I have no complaints, but this one was the one that was the most unique. Uh, I believe that they mostly have creams and they have a lot of um, unique colors. They have like a bright yellow and a you know some blues uh, but they have a lot of kind of classic like reds and wines and pinks uh, so yeah they're they're an interesting brand. Okay, I'm gonna get into my second coat here. And there are a couple questions that I always get every time I do these videos. And one is how long does it take me actually to paint my nails? Because I do edit out, you know, a little bit of drying time, a little bit of um, like switching between bottles time. So I will let you know at the end of the video exactly how long it has been um, on the timestamp on my camera. And so then, you know, you'll know, I may edit out a couple of minutes, but you'll know exactly how long it was. It really doesn't take me that long to paint my nails. I'm not sure. I think maybe it's just practice. I get used to, you know, doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, but yeah, I will keep you posted. Um, one of the other Topic Tuesday prompts for April was favorite color combinations. And I, I just had a really hard time thinking about answers to this one. So I don't actually have any polishes that I pulled for it. Um, oh, and I just did the same thing on this nail. I got a little on my cuticle, so I'll have to do a little cleanup, but that's okay. Um, so I couldn't really think of anything. Okay, I'm gonna pause talking about color combinations to do a little cleanup. This is the other question that I always get is how I do some cleanup and this cup is gross. So just, you know, bear with me, but I have this little tiny cup that I got at Sally's and I have this e.l.f. brush and I just dunk it in the pure acetone and then I use it to clean up right along the edge. Um, on my first coat, when I did this cleanup, I actually just used the dry brush because I had just put the polish on and there was kind of a lot of pooling, so I just kind of like scooped it off. Um, but now that I have like a layer of drier polish underneath, um, I wanna make sure that I really just get the part that I wanna clean up, so I'm using the acetone. And yeah, the rest of them look pretty good. Okay, so I don't usually do a lot of nail art, um, and so I don't know that I think about color combinations that often, but um, I do really like the kind of look on other people when they'll find like a metallic or a glitter or something that is very similar to a cream and then they'll do like one nail with that you know like their ring finger or something has something sparkly and the rest of their hand is like a cream that kind of complements the glitter my sister does that all the time and it looks really fun uh, i don't do it often but i do think it's a fun i think it's a fun look uh it has been really helpful for me in april to try and focus on some like small <laughs> achievable goals every day. Um, so one of the things that I'm trying to do is I uh, am trying to just use my planner every day. So like make my to-do list, check my to-do list. Uh, I think even if I, you know, don't do all the things on my list, it's been helpful for me to feel like, you know, I have some structure in terms of how I'm organizing my, my time and my tasks, um, especially th since things have been a little up in the air at work. Um, I have been feeling like, you know, every day is a little bit different and it's been really helpful for me to have some kind of structure. So that's something that I've been trying to do every day. Uh, and then the other things that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to clean something every day, whether that's just like putting some laundry away or doing some dishes or like actually cleaning the bathroom, you know, vacuuming or something. Uh, and I'm trying to get 6,000 steps every day. Usually I get more than that during a regular day, but since I'm staying home and not doing much, um, I'm shooting for something totally achievable. So those like small achievable goals have been really helpful and just like keeping me feeling positive. Oh, and I'm reading before bed every night. So those are the like four things that I'm trying to do every day. Use my planner, get 6,000 steps, uh, clean something, and read, read before bed. 
So yeah, that's been really helpful. Uh, let me know if there's anything that you have been doing that is helping you stay positive or, you know, stay focused. Um, I would love to hear what sort of tricks and tips you have. Okay, while I wait for my second coat to dry, uh, the next prompt was your kind of go-to for something quick and simple. And I think I've talked about this polish before, but this is Orly's Cashmere Crisis. And I absolutely adore this polish. It is a fabulous neutral. It is pretty much a dupe for uh, Kale Polish Gram. It's a little bit deeper, uh, but I don't mind that. I had, you know, some folks didn't quite think it was a dupe, but I think it's, I think it's pretty darn close. Um, so this one is one of my go-tos. It's probably the polish that I have worn the most number of times in my collection. Um, not just like swatched and, you know, done for a video, but like actually put on and worn. And then recently I wore smoky quartz at a time when I needed to be kind of like a little more pulled together and professional. I think it was in February. Uh, and I adored this polish. It was so deep and just like a little bit smoky. It was really, really pretty. Uh, and then I've also talked about this a couple times, but I am loving Sweet Thing from Orly. <laughs> so if you want something a little lighter for a go-to, these are kind of the three that came to mind when I first read this prompt. All right, I'm gonna see if I can race and get my top coat on before the battery dies on my camera. We shall see. Um, I did a bunch of swatches before this, so my battery is a little bit sleepy. Uh, I am using the Zoya Armor Top Coat, and I like this one. Um, I know I, I promised a comparison of this one and the Naked Manicure Glossy Seal, but honestly, I just haven't had time to do a wear test <laughs> of anything because um, I really would want to give it you know, five or six days, and I just haven't had five or six days where I didn't need to swatch anything. So it is on my list to try and do um, once I catch up, but I like this top coat. Um, it dries pretty quick. I do think the glossy seal dries a little bit faster, but I haven't honestly noticed that much of a difference in terms of wear time, but I've never, you know, kind of tested them right against each other in the same manicure, so. We'll see. I really am looking forward to May. I'm gonna be launching the All About Polish Summer Collection in May. I was hoping to launch it in the beginning of May. It will probably be, you know, closer to the end of May just because there have been some um, delays on some of my products, you know, given the pandemic, that's totally understandable. Uh, so that will probably launch at the end of May, but I'm really excited for our summer collection. I think there's some really cool colors in it. I mean, I can't wait to just like wear them and show you. Um, and I hope that you all like them as well. Uh, okay, um, I'm really enjoying Wednesday. I mean, this is a color that I absolutely love. I think it's, I think it's springy. I don't know, it's maybe a summer color, but I really like this one. It's like muted, but still really bright. It's just so wonderful. And two coats, it was totally opaque, really gorgeous formula. Okay, so I have just my thumbs left to do, and I'm at about 17 minutes and 10 seconds. So I did put my base coat on before this, um, and I will need to sit here for a couple minutes to let my nails dry, but I would say, I don't know, that's like 25 minutes probably for a manicure. Um, that's not that bad. Like I said, let me know, you know, what you're looking forward to in May. Let me know what you you're kind of doing to keep yourself positive and focused right now. I would love to hear from you. Um, I am thinking about you all. I hope that you're safe and happy and healthy. Uh, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Awesome.